So the group are on a autistic um, learners from Gower College. The project is beneficial to the learners because it helps them improve their social and communication skills. So for example, a lot of the learners don't leave their bedrooms. They come to college, they go home, they go back to their bedroom. For some learners here uh, in this project, um, this is their opportunity to engage with the community and others. I see the project as a good way for people and young people to get involved in something creative and just have fun and express themselves and that's it basically just have fun and learn something new that's creative. Um, sometimes when you like um, put into like um, environments where you like uh, um, it was like can be tri triggering some uh, f and things that haven't that and just things that haven't to you in the past we could either just like you know just sit there and play victim to our become a victim to our own past or just open that door and just push push forward. It's gone really well. We've had really good results with um, the graffiti. It was really exciting to see the confidence of the participants grow because they were a bit nervous to start with, but as they were painting, they just absolutely loved it and got really absorbed. And um, yeah, it was just quite magical, really. Oh, we just uh, learned about doing some spraying on the walls, which is called like a tag. Well, just learned to do like some throw ups, like bubble writing, and then the tag, like joining up. And then you could design yourself. You know, anything you like. I did drawing. I did the drawing of SpongeBob with graffiti. I love SpongeBob because he's my favourite cartoon, because he's funny. He's yellow and he's a, he's a good sponge. My graffiti is based on the, the word nope, like, like the film by Jordan Peele. It's a good film in my opinion though. Well, I just, green is usually my favourite colour and it's a little bit tricky I think. Uh, I think it's practice make perfect. I've learned something new I haven't learned before and it's just the whole experience was amazing and brilliant. Pretty At intense. first I think I struggled a bit with the drawing I think mostly rather than the spray, spray painting I think the drawing was harder but after a little couple of tries I got a little bit better. It's good because you don't get to do it in college so that's why this is such a big opportunity for me. Oh, I, just, I just can't believe I did that. I can't believe I actually did graffiti. Yeah, it feels, I feel very honoured, you know, seeing that uh, my tag, you know, is still up there on the wall. I don't know, I'm always surprised by how good they are, basically, how good people are at doing it and how quick they learn things. And, but I think everyone is good creatively anyway. These sessions, people have settled into them really quickly and uh, certainly everyone's having a great time, you know, all the way through. I get like fulfillment in doing something, starting something and seeing the outcome, like you get pride and stuff like that and I also get like, without sounding cheesy, it could be like therapy, definitely something that to help relax you when you're like painting your mind's just on that thing so you can just relax doing that. I think um, through creativity people can really gain a sort of uh, escape perhaps and like it's particularly drawing and this painting is very meditative and actually the end piece you know once people relax into it they tend to surprise themselves uh, by their finished product as well. Most of these people, or in fact all of these people haven't done it before they um, then realise they can do it and actually they've done it to a high standard and they're all very proud of themselves and as they should be so yeah as am I. I feel like a, a great sense of achievement of something that I didn't know I could um, I could do. Seeing that on the wall is like a reminder of what, how creative I can be. And sometimes you just gotta you just gotta um, you just gotta have a little bit of faith in yourself sometimes. So um, I've been an assistant artist on the project so far. It almost taps back to that childhood love of just playing with different materials and it's just a pure joy rather than something that's kind of prescribed or everyday like monotony. It's a bit different and it's lovely to do. This particular group um, that we're working on this project 
um, they need to have information in advance. So um, the way this has been, programme has been set up has been fantastic because all the information has been shared with them prior to what they're doing. They knew that on the 10th of November they were coming to the Elysium. Oh, when it comes to meeting new people, I avoid them like the plague. Oh yeah, this place pushes every boundary I've ever had, but hey, yo, it's good to push them. Okay. Hopefully break them. <coughs> ah, I drew the Death Star. I'm a... was supposed to be a galaxy, but turned out being a spiral universe, so there's that. Um, and I intend to do the Death Star laser sound effect thing. Project so far is, um, I would say it's is, um, is fantastic. Uh, I would say it's fantastic. Like um, with the on the creative side of things, like it can give me like these like, ideas and stuff. Like um, I just created um, um, some soundboard, which I can um, which plays like um, um, if we're video um, sounds of starting up video game consoles from the past, like the late nineties and early two thousands. Yeah. They've all kind of been shocked at the end when we've like plugged things in and they've made the sounds. They're like, "What? This is really cool." Yes. They have adapted their workshops on the spot sometimes because each person is different that we're working with and it needs to be adaptable. That's kind of the key from this. I, I think it's just the more you interact and the more you work with them, um, the more experience you get. I think it is a hands-on experience thing. It's, there's no textbook. You know, and I know there's lots of information out there or it is about just working with them every day and gaining your experience through that. It's, it's like anything, the more you do it, the more you learn. Uh, I'm leading the animation workshop and the costume workshop. My expectation is to learn about working with these um, groups um, of young people and finding out more about uh, neurodivergent um, individuals and uh, I think it's really important because we can apply it to everyday life, working with adults, working with children and um, yeah I think it will really enhance our practice. Today we're doing a stop motion animation project um, so we're using different cutouts and creating um, animation moving through the um, different scenes that we've got printed out. So when I arrived, when I arrived here this morning, I felt like this was a, 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 a huge opportunity for myself because um, this is another skill that I can learn to acquire to like um, progress. I like that it like, gives me the opportunity to like you know learn a bit more about how you know stop motion animation is made and like you know, just allows me to just, you know, flex my creative muscle a little bit, you know? We get this app and then we put these um, birds on a tripod and we do it by frame by frame by frame. And um, stop motion um, uh, takes a lot of effort. I have a great admiration for people who work in the stop motion uh, um, industry. With the animations, it's so, such a quick, beautiful way of like creating something and they look at it and they're like, I made this and it's great. And I'm even making some sort of um, like stop motion claymation figure, which I'm like really like immersed in, into like getting into like getting it to uh, shape how I, how I envisioned it. Today it was an introduction to filmmaking. The objective today was to kind of get images that would look cool played in reverse motion. So it's a nice kind of way of just kind of learning a little bit about how to use cameras, how to light a scene, uh, and then some basic editing skills after that. I love this workshop, yes. I, uh, I just make a, a tower of cups and then just knock it down. That was really funny, especially with the paint, to, you know, just blobs out. Um, and I think what's, what's great about workshops like this is just by making them a little bit silly, it also, I think it allows people to get out of their comfort zone and also just work as a group together, you know, to make something that's fun and lighthearted while also learning some, you know, core skills that they wouldn't have been able to learn otherwise. Uh, I come in to um, Elysium to, uh, 
to basically study film making really and it helps everyone like with teamwork and understanding what to, to do with technology people don't know and it's a good communication as well. Shine Cymru is a day centre, uh, they're based in Clans Hamlet. They seem really positive and they're, they're enjoying coming here. Even the ones who are independent, they've allocated um, somebody um, with them so that if they, if they need anything, we, we're always there. This has been a really sort of soft and gentle way to tease this kind of creative flow out of my participants. And because each session has been slightly different, I think one of them or a few of them at each point have sort of realised that they have this creative spark. Um, and confidence is something that I think is a theme that runs throughout all my participants. Like they all lack in particular confidences. And now they, they are expressing their true authentic self. And I think it's such a safe wonderful space for them to to do and embody themselves in and yeah it's just wonderful to watch so fun <laughs> with these kinds of workshops you never know how they're going to go there's so much uncertainty around it and you know that you have to be very flexible um and be able to respond in the moment to what's going on and if something's offered to be able to run with it um or to know if some kind of something's not working so i definitely had that apprehension but um but i was very excited at the same time because that's also the exciting part that you don't know what's going to happen so one, two, three, four, five, everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride to the liquor store around the corner. The boys say they want some gin and juice, but I really don't wanna be a buzz like I had last week. I must stay deep, cause talk is cheap. I like Angela, Pamela, Sandra, and Rita. And as I continue, you know they're getting sweeter. So what can I do? I really bad you, my lord. To me, flirting is just like a sport. Anything fly, it's all good. Let in the trumpet. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of Tina's what I see. I phrase apprehensive a little bit in the beginning because I think one of the things that my um, autism has got this issues about socialising is I find socialising really quite difficult, which is why I'm trying to get myself out of my comfort zone. Well, I like uh, I like most everyone here. It's another reason to get out of the house. So. Good, it, it would be good for me, good for my mental health, maybe to uh, just you know get in regular contact with these people. Yeah. Some people that I actually met there um, are back today, so it's actually quite nice to actually see them again. I w I've got to say, I was really, really impressed at the group and how willing people were. And, and even like people that stepped out and then would come back in. It's nice to cut, switch your mind off. It's one of the things you can switch your mind off for the whole for that couple of hours to when you've got a busy day of life, it's, it's great because it's your time. We're in um, Gawa College. We've been doing a movement activity where we've been mirroring each other, playing a game. It might make me feel like that I need to push myself every now and then. My comfort zone makes me feel safe, but at times it makes me feel sheltered. And sometimes I need to get out every now and then. Oh, me? Oh, I was checking for ghosts. Checking for ghosts? Yeah! Yep! Uh, um, I mean, uh, um, an amateur ghost ghost hunter, me. Well, what's this? Don't know. Pick it up. Today, here at Elysium, I've been helping to run the um, Connect and Flourish script writing session. I have a background in creative writing. I studied creative writing in university. And um, Jonathan spoke to me a while ago and asked me if I was interested in helping to run the script writing session. It's a show about people who come together in the warehouse. What? Just like we are? Now? When does it start? 
It already has. Yeah. Blow me, blow me, blow me! <laughs> what was that? What was it? it? Sounded like it came from from there. Get away from the door! Oh! Hello, please. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's one of the bank's robberies, yeah. Uh, she said this for her brother, maybe. I said, you don't trust it, man, no! No, 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 no! I found the session must have been quite nerve-wracking, certainly. Helping someone the session has improved my confidence. Well, welcome back! Now let's spend this, uh, spend this per cash rate cash on some Hollywood bird models! Woohoo! Oh, God. I'm talking about films now. That's bad. Stories, films, uh, whatever. That uh, it's... You don't know if the, the film is set in the past or the present. Oh, yeah. Mm. So when is it set? Maybe like a detective or a spy. A detective enters. Us as an organisation, we're sort of neurodiverse led. It felt like that we needed to do a lot more to support people and to kind of, kind of make the experience of coming in here a lot better, but also to kind of create more opportunities. And so this is sort of where it kind of grew from, really. Watching them sort of enjoy themselves and actually be creative um, in a space where they're not judged. Um, it's, it's just really empowering, really positive. Uh, and I think some of them are going away realizing that they actually are creative because I do believe that some of them don't see themselves as being a creative individual. I know as, as someone that used to be very shy and timid myself, I think really hard on how to kind of make the environment dynamic enough that people can feel comfortable in the space. We're very much a community led organisation and what, what, what the community, what people think and want to do kind of dictates where we go. A couple of them are drawing things now, a couple of them are, are doing little animations now, um, you know, uh, and, and these are all hobbies that they're doing at home by themselves, which is great, which is what we want to encourage. And I do think that creating a space where you're inviting something different into somebody's world is so empowering and important. Now the plan is hopefully they've actually been inspired a bit and enjoyed it and maybe hopefully some of them go home and draw a little bit of graffiti or just draw anything or just be a bit more creative, that'd be nice. One learner prefers not to engage with anybody um, and from what I've seen and that's only from the minimal sessions, it's fantastic to see him engaged in what he's doing. I think it's important for um, getting to know new people and enjoying life itself really. It's like you've got two different lives, one in college and then one outside because it's somewhere new to try and get new experiences that you'll remember for a very long time to come.